welcome back to the channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and I have a tag for you guys today and I'm really excited for this I was tagged by the lovely Bethany Robertson and the tag is called my perfect imperfections so I will definitely leave her video actually down below in the description box so you guys definitely go check out that but yeah I well, honestly say that when I was first tagged, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to do this tag because it's very personal. Like it's all up in my business. Like, oh my gosh. Basically, this tag is to just shine some light on the issue of flaws and just the whole perfection thing. I definitely think that just society, just everything like flawless and perfection is like what people strive for when in reality we all have flaws and none of us are perfect at all and this is mostly talking about outer appearance of course and I'm really excited to talk about this because I do feel like people can front or put on their best foot forward especially girls um, in particular especially us like think about it for Instagram we like front and we want to show our best looking selves a lot of times we won't show ourselves looking a hot mess, you know, because we want to show our perfect selves. We want to show, hey, I don't have flaws, when in reality, we all have flaws. So that's what we're going to talk about is my likes and dislikes about myself. Yes, this is a very, very personal tag. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get, get through this. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's start off with my dislikes. Okay, number one dislike that I don't like about myself is my hair. Yes, true story. So, um, of course, this is actually a weave. Yeah, it is a weave. And um, I usually wear weaves. And it's just been something that over the years I just often wear weaves. It's just my comfort place. I have worn my actual hair out before, um, actually multiple times, but it's just not my favorite. The only the reason why I don't like my hair, I feel like it's not very versatile. Um, I feel like it's much harder to manage versus weave, which is why I get weave because it's just very much easy to maintain, and also it can look so many different ways. Um, my hair. I want to say that I just really haven't given my actual hair much of a chance to, I don't know, just to see like what I can do with my hair. Just over the years, whenever I like want to have long hair, I'll be like, okay, I'll just get weave. But if I want a shortcut or just something shorter, then I'll be like, okay, I can use my natural hair then. But I've never really given my hair a chance to actually grow out. Like I don't even remember a time where I've let it just grow out and see how long it can get. So that's the process that I'm in now. Right now, I've just been getting sew-ins back to back to back because I want my hair to grow and just see how long it gets. Like back in the fall time, I did a big chop to my hair, which no one would ever know because I've been getting sew-ins, but I did a big chop to my hair and I decided to cut off actually all of my relaxed pieces and then after a while, I decided to just relax my leave out. So my leave out is relaxed, but everything else, um, is natural and it's actually grown like significantly I can even say that word like why did I try to say that <laughs> it's grown like really really long and surprisingly like it touches my shoulder some of my hair touches my shoulder blade which is really cool because I had just cut it off not too long ago so we'll see um, I'm just gonna try to give my hair a chance but honestly I'm just not a big fan of my hair I just don't like the texture it's just very thick it's coarse um, I just don't like it honestly my second dislike is my skin so I think that um, I don't think that I have rough skin I don't think that um, and I do get acne that honestly does not bother me for some reason it doesn't bother me. I think it bothers a lot of people, but I get acne like all the time. Not not a big deal to me. But what I don't like about my skin is this. Is that whenever I do get acne or there's a scar or something like that, it creates dark spots. And I find that to just be so annoying is that my regular face has dark spots or, you know, 
hyperpigmentation and certain things like that. Um, back in the day, you would never, ever catch me without makeup on. Um, but I think over the years, I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable with my actual skin, even though I still don't like it. Um, I do have no makeup days. I have like one or two like a week and I go out in public. So that's a huge deal because back in the day I wouldn't be able to do that. But I just do find that to be quite annoying. I just wish my skin was just smooth and clean and just on point. But it's not. LBR, it's just not. So yeah, that's why I don't like my skin. Okay, number three. This dislike... Okay, I'll say this. I do not think that it's very ladylike for a woman to have hair anywhere but on her head. <laughs> so, um, I dislike the fact that I grow hair, like, right now, I have hair in my arms, and it's very, very faint, but it just bothers me, <laughs> and I like to shave them, you know, razor, that's what it's for. Um, although there are a lot of women out there that do embrace, um, certain things about themselves as far as, like, being a bit hairier, um, that's just not something that I am too fond of at all. I feel like this is something I hide very well because there's razors, there's nair, there's tweezers, there's wax for hair that's in areas that it's not supposed to be, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I definitely take advantage of that. I just find that to be extremely annoying. That's probably the, the biggest thing that I dislike about myself. And um, I definitely plan to get lasered later on in life. Actually, hoping pretty soon, within the next year or so, to get um, everything lasered. But in the meantime, you know, razors, waxing, all those different types of things. But uh, I just don't think that being hairy is cute at all. So that is my third dislike. <laughs> Now moving on to the more positive things about myself, my likes. Let's talk about my likes. Number one, the biggest thing that I like about myself will probably be my eyes. And I don't know what it is, but I have dark brown eyes, so it's not anything like special. Like a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, your eyes are so pretty because they're like, like people that have like lighter eyes or like blue or hazel or whatever. I don't know. But I just like my own eyes like a lot. I like the shape of them, I just love the color, even though they're really dark brown. Sometimes though, they do look lighter than what they are, like it kind of plays tricks on people. I've had people ask me, like, are those your real eyes or those contacts? And I'm like, they're my real eyes, like they're dark brown. But sometimes they look a little lighter than what they really are, I don't know. But I just really like my eyes, I just love them. Number two, another thing I like about myself are my lips. I don't know why I like them so much, but I really like them. Um, there's not much to say about my lips. I just think that they're just, I don't know. I just think they look, they look good. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about my lips. I just really like them. <laughs> That's all I can say. I like the size of them, how plump they are. I just think they're, they're really perfect size. Yeah, I just really like my lips. And number three, um, my height. I am 5'8 and a half, and for a girl, apparently that's, um, kind of tall. So I think that's cool. I'm not quite model height. I have a lot of people that ask me, oh, are you modeling? Are you doing any runway or anything like that? Um, I could, but I don't want to, but, um... Facts state that model height is, average model height is like 5'9". They like you to be at least 5'9 for a runway. Although there are some people that are shorter that do runway, but yeah. Not quite model height, actually. A half an inch shorter. It's cool though, it's cool though. But I just really like my legs. I like, I have really, really long legs compared to like my torso, but I just really like that. I think that with any person, like whatever shape you are, like just learn how to work what you are and with me being slim and like tall with long legs there's certain things that I wear that look really really flattering and there's other things that I can't wear that don't look as flattering but I just like you know what I can wear you know what I work with so I think that 
my height is something that makes me unique and I just really really like it okay guys that is all for this tag and I am gonna tag everyone out there I'm gonna tag all of you lovely youtubers yeah I'm tagging all of you guys I think that this is a really cool tag It's really important I think that when um, Bethany tagged me I was just like I don't want to talk about flaws like I don't want to talk about them but it's good to talk about flaws LBR none of us are perfect and I think that we just like to really act perfect and in reality we're not so I think it's just cool to just kind of talk about this type of things you know that people don't usually want to talk about and that's things that they don't like but even with the things that you don't like work with them like work with what you have you know if you don't like it work with it that's all I can say and um, I just think that your likes should definitely outshine your dislikes for sure um, there's always going to be something that isn't perfect. There's always going to be something that's not the best and you always want it to be better. But let's just state this fact that we are human and we have flaws. Alright guys, that is all for me. And I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. Oatmeal is lumpy and looks like throw up. Come on, Brian. I'll get it as I said. <laughs> Team iPhone. Take my iPhone off the charts. <laughs>